it's Shannon Rose and in today's video I'm going to be telling you my online dating experiences. So as you guys know, I am married, but I don't know if you know, some of you might know, but my husband I actually met on a dating website called Match.com. And for some of you, you guys might already know that if you've watched my videos for a while, but I'm really excited because Match.com actually decided to collaborate with me on this video. And so I'm going to tell you guys basically the story of how my husband and I met on Match.com and like how we ended up dating and some of like the awkwardness with that and then I'm also going to be telling you the two other people that I actually met on Match.com and dated before I met my husband. Really quickly I just wanted to let you guys know that Match was nice enough to give you guys a seven day free trial so the links will be down in the description box below if you're interested. Also just want to let you know that Match is not only number one in first dates but also second dates too and it's led to more relationships than any other dating app. So if I'm going to recommend anyone it's definitely going to be this one and obviously I'm biased because I met my husband on that site. Also you can do all of this from your phone. You can download the Match app and have matches sent directly to your phone. So let's start from the beginning. I don't know about you, but at first I was very, very skeptical of online dating. I thought there's so many weirdos online. I don't think it's safe. I don't know if I want to do it. But I also was very busy and I didn't really have time to do like the whole bar thing. And I didn't really want to meet people like in a bar and I really wanted like a real relationship. I didn't want to just like hook up with somebody. And I feel like when you like meet people at clubs or bars, it's kind of just like a hookup. It's not really like trying to find somebody to be in a relationship with. Like when you're serious, you go to Match.com. <laughs> and so I was ready to like settle down. I decided to sign up on Match.com. I was like, you know what? I just am going to try it. Like it's not going to hurt to try. So I end up making a profile, getting online, and through all the messages that I got, I ended up picking three guys that I thought would be a good match for me. So one of them was a psychologist, or a psychologist, or a psychiatrist, one of those. The other one was a firefighter, and then the third one was Travis, my husband, who was in sales. Now before I met Travis, I met these other two guys, um, the firefighter and the psychologist, and the first date I went on was with the psychologist, I, I'm thinking that he's a psychiatrist or a psychologist, one of the two. I know I'm saying psychologist, I could be wrong. But I actually did a whole story time video about like a horror story that I had, which the horror story wasn't with him, I was the horror story <laughs> because I ended up drinking too much on our first date um, and it just did not go well. But yeah, so that was like the whole story with him. That did not go too well, but surprisingly, like he still wanted to like date me after that. Um, and I think we went on one other date, but it wasn't really a date. It was weird. It was like with another girl. <laughs> it's like a whole weird story. And then the other person that I ended up dating was a firefighter who was so, so nice. And it's so cool because on this website, they really do a good job like matching you with people that they think like have similarities and like would be a good match for you. All the guys were like really nice. The firefighter was super, super sweet. Uh, I had been like texting him for a while before we actually met in person and he had gone on like some trip to another country. Let me tell you the story of how this happened. We ended up going on our date and then he had left something on the table like as he was leaving and I was like, oh, don't forget your hat because it looked like there was like a hat and he was like, oh no, that's yours and I'm, and I'm looking like, no, it's definitely not mine and he was like, yeah, it is. He's like, I got it for you like on this like trip that he went on and I was like, oh, like that's so sweet. <laughs> I was like, it was really nice but like, I don't know, to me it was like kind of weird because we had never met before in person. I don't know, I guess like, do people do that? I don't know. I just, <laughs> it wasn't weird. It was really sweet but like, I don't know. And he was really nice, but I think he was like, I don't know, not the right person for me. But then I met Travis, and um, a lot of you guys have heard this story before, but for the ones that haven't, because I have told it like a long time ago, so for a lot of you guys that are new on this channel, you might not know, but I met my husband on Match, and <laughs> I love him to death, but like, he's not very photogenic, so in his pictures, he didn't look like how he looks in person, um, in my opinion. And so, out of like, all three of the guys, I thought he was the least, attra <laughs> least attractive one. So I met him last. <laughs> it felt so bad, but it's the truth. I know I'm awful. He kept texting me, texting me. He was like so persistent. He like really wanted to meet me. So eventually we ended up meeting and I was at my aunt's house and he lived like really close to where my aunt lived. And so we ended up meeting and when I saw him in person, like the first thing I said to him, you guys, was, oh my gosh, you're so short. <laughs> He was really short and I was just wasn't expecting that, but he was way better looking in person than he was in his picture, so I was like excited about that. We literally spent four hours talking in the car. Like we didn't go anywhere, we weren't driving, like we were sitting in a parked car talking for four hours and 
one thing led to another and um, we didn't hook up by the way <laughs> I don't want you to think I said one thing led to another and then we like hooked up that's I actually didn't even kiss him until our third date but I was really skeptical of like dating online and uh, didn't want to do it but I know that if I could find somebody to marry <laughs> by dating online that you probably can too so um, if you are one of those people like me that it's like skeptical about dating online give it a try because you just might find your husband on there like I did I literally found my soulmate online it's like the craziest thing anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed the story time of my online dating experiences if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thank you again so much for watching um, oh also don't forget to leave a comment down below on what kind of video you want to see next I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in the next video Mwah!